Jesus grew up in Galilee, and Josephus tells us that most villages in Galilee and Judea had synagogues. Now, he may have been exaggerating, and yes, there was a scholar a number of years ago who claimed that there weren't really any synagogues prior to the year 70 when the temple was destroyed. But archaeological evidence suggests otherwise, not to mention the fact that not only does Josephus refer to synagogues, distinctive buildings where the Jewish people gathered to read scripture, hear it read, worship, sing songs, and so forth. But uh, the New Testament Gospels refer to synagogues dozens of times. And Philo, the uh, Jewish uh, scholar and philosopher who lived in Alexandria, Egypt, and died, by the way, we think around the year 50, and therefore didn't know anything about the destruction of the temple or how anything might have changed after 70, he speaks of synagogues in his own time. In fact, he even complains about a synagogue that was vandalized and desecrated by some hothead youths. So the evidence literarily, I think, is rather compelling that there really were synagogues, but the archaeological evidence suggests that indeed there were several that have been identified Uh, as existing prior to 70, at least seven. There could be an eighth and a ninth. I might mention that the synagogue at Capernaum, the tourists love to see, it's made of limestone. That dates not from the time of Jesus, but from uh, the fourth, maybe even the fifth century. But if you look carefully at that synagogue, uh, at its foundations, you notice the foundations are not level. They're not even square. They're made of black basalt stone. And you wonder, why would anyone build this beautiful limestone Uh, synagogue on such a uh, flawed uh, basalt foundation? And the answer is because that's the Jewish custom. Paul himself speaks this way metaphorically in 1 Corinthians 3 when he talks about how one should be careful how one builds on a foundation. And so what I think uh, at Capernaum is uh, what we have is the original um, foundation of the synagogue that probably was built in the first century B.C., the synagogue that is mentioned in the New Testament Gospels where Jesus had, uh, where he sometimes preached and sometimes healed. And so in keeping with the sacredness of that foundation, that particular spot, the later uh, synagogue of the 4th or 5th century was built upon it, even though the foundations, you know, were not exactly perfect. In this video, we'll conduct an image search with multiple terms and view video files within Logos. In the previous lesson, Dr. Evans mentioned an inscription at a synagogue of Capernaum, as well as an interesting comment about the ancient structure that underlies the currently standing synagogue. In this screencast, I want to show you how you can do an image search using the search terms of synagogue and Capernaum to find great shots of what Dr. Evans was describing. The first thing we'll need to do is open up a new search panel. Once we have the search panel open, we will need to make sure that the type of search we're running is an image search by selecting image in the top right-hand corner of the panel. We'll also want to make sure that our search range is set to all images in entire library. We're first and foremost interested in looking at pictures of synagogues. We can see every picture in our Logos library that mentions synagogue by simply typing the word synagogue in the search bar, then pressing enter. The search results for this provide us with quite a few pictures of synagogues from our Logos library. The number of images returned will depend on the number of image-related resources you have in your library. These images are being pulled directly out of your personal library. We're interested not in synagogues in general, but a particular synagogue, the Synagogue at Capernaum. In order to narrow down our search results, we can run a search using the word Capernaum in correspondence with the word synagogue. This will find all of the places where the text that appears with the corresponding image or video will have the word Capernaum near the word synagogue in the image database. Let's take some time to analyze these amazing images and videos in our search results. The first picture I want to highlight is an infographic tied to Matthew 4.13 from the Faith Life Study Bible. It illustrates what the synagogue at Capernaum would look like today if it were still in its original state. This infographic even mentions the basalt walls that the original synagogue would have been constructed from. The next result I want to direct us to is a video also from the Faith Life Study Bible that's attached to Mark 121. Let's take a brief look at this video. This is a live look at what the site of the synagogue in Capernaum looks like today. If you pause the video at around 43 seconds, you can see what the original basalt stone foundations look like underneath the limestone structure that Dr. Evans mentioned. 
This limestone structure was built upon the basalt around the 3rd or 4th century AD. The last image I'd like to draw our attention to is the image taken from an introduction to the New Testament by Dr. David De Silva. This image displays the seat of Moses that Dr. Evans talked about with regard to the synagogue at Chorazin. The nice thing about this image is that it's also linked to a passage in Scripture where Jesus talks about the Pharisees sitting at the seat of Moses. Many people believe that Jesus is actually referring to a literal seat like this one when he speaks in Matthew 23 too. I challenge you to look at some more of the image results in this search. It will give you an even greater appreciation for what Dr. Evans is talking about with regard to the synagogues in this area.